Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, dear viewers, sisters and brothers, and especially you, dear reciters, welcome to the art of recitation of the Holy Quran from Safir TV. Actually, the time has changed, so we are going to be live from 7 p.m. till 8 p.m., inshallah, every Monday. So remember, every Monday will be live from 7 p.m. till 8 p.m. insha'Allah. I wish you enjoyed uh, seeing this program and insha'Allah uh, we start as every uh, Monday one page of recitation and the page I'm going to recite uh, for tonight is page number nine of uh, the Holy Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah from ayah number 58 till ayah number 61. And inshallah, tonight we have two uh, reciters, two guest reciters, and one of them will be with us, inshallah, after the break. Brother Muhammad Mehdi uh, Mudaffar. And the guest caller uh, is a young girl and young reciter, Sister Noor Usama Shaaban, and inshallah, she will join us after break as well and we'll listen to her recitation as well so stay with us dear viewers so we have two parts part number one is recitation of the holy quran one page of the holy quran in tartil and one short surah in tahqiq and after that we have the lesson of tonight which is about the rules of let alam and after break we'll have two guest reciters inshallah so open your quran Page number nine, uh, Surah Al Baqarah, ayah number fifty-eight till sixty-one. A'udhu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi al-Rahman al-Rahim. وَإِذْ قُلَّ دَخُلُوا هَذِهِ الْقَرْيَةَ فَكُلُوا مِنْهَا حَيْثُ شِئْتُمْ رَغَدًا وَادْخُلُوا الْبَابَ سُجَّدًا وَقُولُوا حِطَّةٌ نَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ خَطَايَاكُمْ وَسَنَزِيدُ الْمُحْسِنِينَ فبدل الذين ظلموا قولا غير الذي قيل لهم فأنزلنا على الذين ظلموا رجزا من السماء بما كانوا يفسقون وإذ تسقى موسى لقومه فقل نضرب بعصاك الحجر فانفجرت منه اثنتا عشرة عينا قد علم كل أناس مشربهم كلوا واشربوا من رزق الله ولا تعثوا في الأرض مفسدين وإذ قلتم يا موسى لن نصبر على طعام واحد فادع لنا ربك يخرج لنا مما تنبت الأرض فادع لنا ربك يخرج لنا مما تنبت الأرض من بقلها وقثائها وفومها وعدتها وبصلها قال أتستبدلون الذي هو أدنى بالذي هو خير 
اهبطوا مصرا فإن لكم ما سألتم وضربت عليهم الذلة والمسكنة وباءوا بغضب من الله ذلك بأنهم كانوا يكفرون بآيات الله ويقتلون النبيين بغير الحق ذلك بما عصوا وكانوا يعتدون صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرج محمد وآل محمد So that was page number 9 and I'm going to recite a short surah in tahqiq I'm going to recite tonight surah al-qari'ah If you want the page number I can give you the page number to your viewers so you can go it is from the 30th juz Surah Al-Qari'ah, it is exactly on the page number 600. So open your Quran if you know it by heart. Of course, many of you, you know it by heart. If no, you can go to page number 600. I'm going to recite Surah Al-Qari'ah in Tahqiq. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن فأما من فقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القارعة القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش 
فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرج محمد وآل محمد Thank you very much dear viewers So one page in ترتيل and one short سورة in تحقيق إن شاء الله This should be our plan for every Monday So please be aware that our program just uh, we have 30 minutes earlier than before because before we had 7 30 till 8 30 and now we have 7 p.m till 8 p.m so <coughs> we did the recitation of the holy quran now it is the time of the uh, teaching part of our program which is about the letter lam when letter lam is pronounced with the quality of uh, um, heaviness uh, and when the lamb is recited with a quality of softness or um, lowering and we will use the t uh, terminologies for these two things so let the lamb dear viewers uh, and let the ra they have exceptions in the recitation of the holy quran overall we have 28 letters in the holy quran and out of the 28 letters, seven letters, they have always the quality of elevating. So what is exactly elevating here? It means the elevating quality exactly is related to the root of our tongue. While pronunciation of these seven letters, which are letter Kha, Sad, Bad, Ta, Va, Ghain, and Qaf, so these seven letters, I repeat again, letter Kha, Sad, Bad, Ta, Va, Ghain, and Qaf. These seven letters, they have the quality of Isti'ala. In Arabic terminology or in Tajweed terminology, we call it Isti'ala. And in English terminology, we use elevating or elevation. Elevating of the root of our tongue while pronunciation of these seven letters. And the remaining letters, so 28 minus 7 would be 21. In 21 letters, all of them actually, they should have the quality of lowering. Lowering the root of our tongue while pronunciation of the 28 letters. But two letters out of 21 letters, which are letters Lam and Ra, they have the quality of I mean different qualities sometimes they have the quality of elevating or heaviness or sometimes they have the quality of lowering and uh, softness and inshallah we'll show you the slides and you will see exactly what does it mean the terminology so you see the lamb of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Allahumma so the rule says here whenever we c we come across the lamb of the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala O oh, Allahumma, we must look at the letter before it. So we have two rules, tafkhim and tarqiq. What is tafkhim? If, letter, if the letter which is before the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has fatha or dhamma, the lamb will be pronounced with the full mouth, which is here, taghlid, or heaviness. Full mouth means here, heaviness. And number two, dear viewers, is regarding to the, the word exactly, lam, uh, if it has a kasra, it will be pronounced with an, an empty mouth, which is called tarqiq. So here we know that 
First of all, you have to know, dear viewers, that letter lamb in general, letter lamb in general has the quality of lowering, while pronunciation of letter lamb in any word except the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has the quality of lowering. The root of our tongue goes down. For example, maliki, maliki, mulku, muluku. Uh, and in, in any, any cases, when we have lam, lam is pronounced with the quality of lowering. So, lam, in all cases, without the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has the quality of lowering. But in the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has two um, qualities. If, as we, we had in our slide, if we have lam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preceded by a fatha u dhamma, this fatha u dhamma should be, dear viewers, the last letter of the previous word. So if that one has fatha u dhamma, so the word of Allah will be pronounced with a quality of heaviness. Like, for, like for, for example, when we say, Inna Allah, when we say, Inna Allah, so in that case, we pronounce the, the word of Allah with the quality of heaviness. Or, for example, we say, Hizbullahi humul ghalibun, Hizbullahi, dhamma of ba, so affects with the letter lamb, so we pronounce lamb of Allah with the quality of heaviness. But what about if the last letter of the previous word accompanies by kasra, like when we say Bismillahi? So in this case, we pronounce like we have a smile Bismillahi. But otherwise, if it is with the quality of taghlis, our mouth is going to be open like vertically. So, like another example, A'udhu Billahi, because of Ba has Kasra. Bismillahi, because Mim has Kasra. So, we go to the next slide, you will see some examples. You, you see here, the Lamb of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allahumma. So, we, we have in Surah Al-Ikhlas. Surah Al-Ikhlas, in ayah number one, we see, Qul huwa Allahu, huwa Allahu. What is the common mistake? When we say, huwa Allahu. No. Huwa Allahu, heavy. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. And then, uh, if we start next ayah, ayah number two, so it is Allahu samad. Allahu samad. Why? Because Hamzatul Wasl changes to Hamzatul Qata and it takes Fatha. So we say Allahu samad. And what happens if we join ayah number one to ayah number two regarding to the rule of Iltiqa'u Sakinin? In this case, Allah, Lam, should take. Um, I mean, with the quality of tarqiq. If we say, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدُ نِلَّهُ الصَّمَدُ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ So be careful. If you join ayah number one to ayah number two, lamb of Allah will take the quality of tarqiq, lowering. And if you don't join, you start from ayah number two, so it is with the quality of taghlid. اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ But joining number one to number two is, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدُ I wish you get the difference of these two parts. So that's about the word of Allah while we look at the last letter's sign, the last letter of the previous word. And other examples, you can see the rules of letter Lam. In the next slide, you will find some examples, uh, as you see here, practice. Uh, exercises for the rules of lam. We, we see tafkhim. لَن نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ Because of the fatha uh, of ra. Next example. رَسُولٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ يَتْلُوا صُحُفًا مُطَهَرًا So we have this, this one in Surah Al-Bayna. So رَسُولٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ مِّنَ اللَّهِ Because of fatha of noon. Next example, فَقَالَ لَهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Because of the Dhamma of Lam, رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَةَ اللَّهِ وَسُقُيَاهَا In Surah Al-Shams, رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَةَ اللَّهِ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Because of Dhamma of Lam, and نَاقَةَ اللَّهِ Because of the Fatha of Ta Marbuta. وَمَا أُمِرُ Next example, وَمَا أُمِرُ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ Because of the Dhamma of letter dal because the wab of the dal is silent. 
of course inshallah will teach you that rule لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ in Surah Al-Bayyana and in the last example قَدْ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ سَمِعَ اللَّهُ it is regarding to the Fatha of Ayn قَوْلَ الَّتِي تُجَادِلُكَ فِي زَوْجِهَا وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى اللَّهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ because of Fatha of Lam the Ya is silent here وَاللَّهُ the Fatha of Waw يَسْمَوْ تَحَاوُرَكُمَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ فَتْحَهَا نُونَ So that is the example of Lam with the quality of تغليظ أو ترقيق Next slide will show you as well some more examples but with ترقيق here with the quality of lowering بِسْمِ اللَّهِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ regarding to the kasra of meme بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ and then الحمد لله لله رب العالمين. so لله because of the كسر of لام. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. so all lambs with the red colors, dear viewers, you will see they have the quality of ترقيق. as I mentioned in natural case, they are with the quality of ترقيق. ورأيت الناس يدخلون لام صدمة. but it is a natural case it's not in the word of Allah fi deen illahi because of kasra of noon here is as of course in the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi deen illahi afwaja wa ma naqamu minhum illa that lam an yu'minu billahi billahi because of the kasra of ba billahi al-aziz al-hamid so dear viewers if lam is not in the word of Allah, it is with the quality of tarqiq as you saw in these examples. And if it is in the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we look at the letter before it. If it is with fatha and dhamma, so we pronounce with the quality of heaviness. And if it is with kasra, we pronounce with the quality of lowering. Thank you very much, dear viewers. So we are going for a short break. And inshallah, uh, we will see you after break. We have our young reciter. Uh, I think he is nine years old, a brother, uh, Muhammad Mehdi Mudaffar. And I think our guest scholar as well, she is nine years old, sister Noor Osama Shaban. Inshallah, you will listen to their recitations after a short break. Stay with us. Inshallah, we'll be after a short break. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear viewers, sisters and brothers and especially you dear reciters welcome back to the art of recitation of the holy Quran from Safir TV we are in the second part of our program and inshallah we have with us a very young reciter of course from a family of reciters inshallah we'll speak to him more so brother Muhammad Mehdi Mudaffar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam. How are you doing, brother Mehdi? Very good. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the art of recitation of the Holy Quran. So you have your camera, you can say salam to our dear viewers. Introduce yourself, please, to our dear viewers. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. My name is Muhammad Mehdi Mudaffar. I am nine years old and I am in year five. I go to Al Sadiq and Al Zahra schools. MashaAllah, very good. Great explanation. Good, uh, brother uh, Muhammad Mehdi Mudaffar. Uh, any reciter, they come here, they have a gift for us. What is your gift for us? For, for, for me, a special, for our program, and for especially for our dear viewers. Do you want to recite any part of the Quran? Yes. Which part do you want to recite? Um, A'la. Surah Al A'la. and Salat Balad. Good. Dear viewers, brother. Muhammad Mehdi Mudaffar is going to recite for us Surah Al-A'la, part of Surah Al-Shams, and part of Surah Al-Balad. So Surah Al-A'la, dear viewers, is page number 591. You can open that one. And as well, Surah Al-Shams is on page 595. And then Surah Al-Balad is back in page 594. We listen to a very nice 
a citation of Brother Muhammad Mehdi Mudaffar. Go ahead, please. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sabbih isma rabbika al-a'la. Allah, Allah. Al-lazhi khalaqa fasawa. والذي قدر فهدى الله 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 والذي أخرج المرعى الله فجعله غتاء Allah, 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 Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah. Innahu ya'lamu al-jahra ma ya'fa. Allah. Wa nuyassiruka lil-yusra. Innah. Fadakkir. Allah. Fadakkir. Allah. فذكر الله فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى الله سيذكر من يغشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا الله الله أكبر قد أفلح من تزكى الله وذكر اسم ربي فصلى الله بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها الله 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 والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاوى النار إذا جلى والليل إذا يغشى والسماء وما بناها الله جميل جميل ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ألم نجعل له عينين الله ألم نجعل له عينين ولسانا وشفتين وهدينا Come on. 
Allah. Allah. Masya Allah. Masya Allah. Sadaqallahul aliyyul azim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajahum ahsantum. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Very nice recitation. As you say in, in Arabic terminology, munawwareen. Masha Allah. Very nice. Ahsantum. Barakallahu fikum. Ahsantum. Masha Allah. We'll ask you many questions, but I think we have our guest Kula, Sister Noor Osama Shaban with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Noor. <coughs> Alaikum Assalam. How are you doing? Are you okay, inshallah? Good, thank you, Sayyid. Could you please introduce yourself to our dear viewers completely? How old you are and where do you live and in which year you are? I am nine years old. I I go to a girls' school. Good. And I love to and I love listening to the Quran. Mashallah, very good. Do you want to recite any part of the Holy Quran for our dear viewers, mm -hmm. for Brother Muhammad Mehdi, for me? I would like to read Surah Al Humaza. Good, good. Go ahead, please. Dear viewers, Sister Noor is going to recite for us Surah Al Humaza. Go ahead, Sister Noor. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Oh. وعجل فرجهم ما شاء الله اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع ماله وعدته يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة في عمد ممددة صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم أحسنتم ما شاء الله نور as your complete name is here نور أسامة شعبان thank you very much very nice recitation uh, did you listen to the recitation of brother محمد مهدي مظفر Yes, I did. How was his recitation? It was very good. Yes, mashallah. It's very impressive. Mashallah, very good, uh, Muhammad Mehdi. Okay, Sister Noor, uh, do you remember when did you start the recitation of the Holy Quran? I started when I was three years old. Mashallah, mashallah. I mashallah. used to listen to my parents. Good. And I enjoyed it very much. Mashallah, very good, very good. And do you remember who was your first teacher in Quran? My parents, and then it was Sayyid Jalal. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Noor, uh, we want to ask some questions from uh, Brother Muhammad. Maybe you will stay with us, okay, because we want to listen from you again, and we have many questions uh, to ask okay. you. Him. Good. Brother Muhammad Mehdi. The same question. Do you remember who was your first teacher in Quran? Um, my first teacher was actually my father. Good. Could you introduce your father? My dad's name is Muhammad Mudaffar. He is a really good Quranic teacher. Definitely he, he is. Yeah. As we say in Arabic uh, terminology, dear viewers, we say, هذا الشبل من هذا الأسد. So definitely he should be like his father because his father is very... Um, famous reciter, reciter of the Holy Quran, and as well he is the uh, vocalist of Ahlul Bayt, and he is reciting for Ahlul Bayt as well in different majalis. I know exactly his father; he is very uh, famous reciter, and as well he has a very good voice. So, so he was your first teacher. Yes. Good. And do you remember when did you first start the recitation of the Holy Quran? I first started the recitation of the Holy Quran when I was five years old. MashaAllah. And I was at home. Good. 
with my dad. With your father. Yeah. Good, good. Very good. So now, do you go to any classes? Yes, yes. Where exactly? You mentioned you are a student of uh, as Sadiq. Uh, yes, yes. Good school. Um, so except that school, of course, you have classes of Quran in, mm. in as Sadiq. Uh, what about other places? Do you go to any Saturday or Sunday schools with yes. your father or with anyone else? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, one is about going to No Foundation, Good. which is organized by the Atab al Good. And we memorize and recite the Holy Quran. So you do this type of recitation there, yeah. actually, under the supervision of your teacher? Yes. I think. It should be your father, yes? Yeah. Good, good, good. And um, the memorization as well is doing under the supervision of your father? Um, memorization, yeah. Hefuf. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So, uh, very nice recitation you had. Did you copy from any reciter? Yes. Or you did yourself? I copied from a reciter. Which reciter? Um, Sheikh Shahad Muhammad Anwar. Sheikh Shahad Muhammad Anwar. Yes. Uh, who passed away. Yes, the father, you mean. Yeah. Good, good, good. Very good. Okay, very nice recitation. Thank Sister you very Noor, much. are you there? Yes, sir. Good, good. Very good. Stay with us because we need your recitation as well and also we ask you some questions. Uh, Sister Noor, do you want to recite any other surahs for us? Surah Al-Takathur, mashallah. Go ahead with Surah Al-Takathur. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad, mashallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Al-Hakum al-Takathur. Hatta zurtum al-Maqabir. Kalla sofa ta'alamun. Thumma kalla sofa ta'alamun. كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لترون يوم يجن عن النعيم صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم أحسنتم ما شاء الله سيستر نور <coughs> سيستر نور could you mention the role of your family or your parents in the recitation of the Holy Quran who is your main supporter who is your main motivator in the recitation of the Holy Quran my dad ما شاء الله so we say salam to your dad as well. I wish he, he is watching our program, uh, I mean the art of recitation of the Holy Quran. We say salam to him and we thank him because of his, his support. Good. And what about your relation with um, reciters like your sister or brother? Do you have any sister or brother? Do you have reciters as well like you or no? My little sister. Good, good. He, she, she just, he just. She just turned eight. It's her birthday. Good, good. We, we wish a very happy birthday to your sister as well. Good, very good. Um, sister Noor, stay with us. We, we will come back to you. We go back to a very nice and uh, smart reciter, Brother Muhammad Mehdi uh, Mudhaffar. Brother Muhammad Mehdi Mudhaffar, you are nine years old. And, mashallah, you, you definitely have very bright and brilliant future. What is your plan? Do you have any specific plan regarding to the recitation of the Holy yes, Quran? Sir. Not regarding to your career if you want to be an engineer or a doctor yeah. or I don't know anything you want, but regarding to the recitation of the Holy Quran. Um, I'm planning to improve um, improve my recitation of the Quran as I, as I grow up and be one of the famous recitation, reciters, inshallah. inshallah. And what I want to be in my future life is a person who impresses people in Quran and making them learn more about the Quran as the tafsir of Ahlul Bayt Ali Muslim say. Yeah, and that's my plan. That's very, that, that's very good things you want to do because you have to follow this, this 
hadith of our great prophet, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his progeny, as he said, in Nitarikum Fikum Muthakalain or Thakalain, Kitab Allahi wa Itrati Ahl Bayt. So we have to have both mm. with us Quran and Ahl Bayt. As always, I mentioned in our program, the Quran is hardware and Ahl Bayt is software. So we have to have these two together to, to, to reach to our goal, to our future. Have you participated in any competitions which is held in, in London? Or in Atibat al Abbasiya or anywhere? Not yet, no. So you have time, inshallah. So mm. there are some competitions usually held in um, Islamic Center yeah. or in different centers during the holy month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really recommend because you have to participate with this mm. nice voice and nice recitations. What is um, the role of your family and who is the main supporter for I mean, recitation of the Holy Quran? Well, the main supporter is obviously my dad, Good. but everyone in the family supports me, encourages me, don't be nervous, just read the Quran, feel happy. Um, yeah. If you don't mind, it's up to you to answer these questions. Do you have any brother or sister elder than you? Yes. They are reciters as well. Um, my brother's good. Yeah. It's good, but not yeah. like Muhammad Mehdi. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, and reciters of the Holy Quran is only my dad. Your dad? And a little bit my brother. Your brother. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, very good. What did you find <coughs> as in your age? Because if you were, for example, 40 years or 50 years, so you might say something, yes, uh, during the life I found this um, in, in the Holy Quran. Until now, as you are nine years old, what is the reason that Quran gets you, Quran attracts you, 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 you go towards Quran? Because you and your, your age, of course, I, I'm sure you might play games or anything, <laughs> yeah. yes. But what is the reason that you, Muhammad, Mehdi, Muzaffar, nine years old, is beloved of the Holy Quran and recites Quran with this nice voice. What is the reason? It's just like I get attached to it a lot, um, but the reason I read the Quran is to get thawab, but not only thawab, to impress Allah. And so I can improve, because if you don't read the Quran, you won't get anywhere in future, but the Quran is the most holy thing you're supposed to take care of Very and good. read. Yeah, as as you mentioned, uh, not just for thawab, because yeah. in in Quran, in Surah Al, dear viewers, in Surah Al Baqarah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala after the Alif Lam Mim, which is of course a secret between Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and especially Prophet and Aimma. So there is the second ayah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه." And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions who are the muttaqeen in, in the next verses. So this book is, of course we don't have any doubt in this book because it is from the reliable source. And as well, this book is guidance. It's a guidance for those that are pious like Brother Muhammad uh, Mehdi Muzaffar and all the reciters inshallah of the Holy Quran. Good, Sister Noor, are you there? Yes. Good, Noor. Thank you for your patience. Uh, so, uh, Noor, what is your plan for your future in the career of the Holy Quran? I don't ask you in other carri careers if you want to be a doctor or pilot or anything you, you like. What is your plan for the, the Holy Quran? I want to learn the whole of it and experience the stories and the adventures in it like to Good. learn about the things important in life so um, how do you learn the recitation of the holy quran and how allah wants me to live good 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 uh, do, do you know any stories of the i mean surahs or um, any stories in the holy quran until now which help you story in about the, the king of abraha okay Good, good, good. That's as well one, uh, I mean, factors of the Holy Quran to memorize it or to learn it. The stories of prophets or the stories of the enemies of yeah. prophets like Abraha at that time. Mm -hmm. Good, in Surah Al-Fir especially. Yes, Muhammad Mahdi? Yeah. Good. 
Uh, Muhammad, do you, do you want to ask any question from Sister Noor? Do you have any particular question? Um, no, because her recitation is, her pronunciation is really good. Okay. Um, okay, no, no. Noor, do you want to ask any question from Brother Muhammad Mehdi Mudhafar? Um, his reading was very good. So what, what about question? Do you have any particular question? How does he learn the Quran? Okay, how, how do you learn the Quran? Well, every, every day in school we read Quran, but I look up on YouTube, find the reciters, and every single time they read, I repeat after them and try to get the, you know... The tune. Yeah, the that's tune. That's the method I use. Yeah, that's the yeah. method that's <laughs> Noor used. Very good, Noor. Thank you. MashaAllah, Noor. Noor. Um, so, Noor, so you, you mentioned, what about the memorization? Do you want to memorize the whole Quran? Is it, a, it might be your plan as well or no? Yes, definitely. Good. And how many surahs you memorized till now? About seven. Seven surahs. Or ten. Or ten. Good, oh. good. So the surahs you recited, you recited from Quran or by heart? By heart. MashaAllah. Very good, very good. Uh, Noor, what is your message to the girls, especially girls in your age, or young reciters in your age, to our dear viewers? What is your message? To keep the Quran. Good. To do our imams and to keep them close to us. Very good. Okay. To guide us. Good. So keep, keep, you have to keep us always close yeah. to Quran and find the, the, the truth, yeah. the best way to get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, dear viewers, so the reason of our creation is not just to come to this world and go to the other world. So we have to, to get to the highest level of makarimul akhlaq, which is the, the main reason of elevating our soul to the highest stage insha'Allah that is possible through these two ways the way of Quran and Ahlul Bayt which is going together as our great Prophet Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his progeny mentioned um, good <coughs> uh, Muhammad Mehdi I think we have another quarter let's um, say how many minutes we have okay assalamu alaikum Do we have another caller? Hello? Maybe. Hello? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, could you introduce yourself and if you have any question, go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, I'm very happy to see it, um, Muhammad Mahdi Muzaffar on the TV. As I work in the same school Mashallah. where he goes, so as a student, for, for to see him, my my uh, child is like um, from the school. Someone is coming in the TV. It's really privilege a privilege for us. Also, my son come to your class at Islamic Center. So today he told me, "Mommy, my school friend is coming on the TV," and we all are very excited. It's Mashallah. inspiration for us to see how young children are coming and they love. Ahlul Bayt and also they love the Quran. Very glad. Alhamdulillah, we are praying for his success. Thank you very much, sister. Thank you very much. Thank you very and much. And that's it, really. Uh, maybe I'll uh, tell the teachers tomorrow that we have seen Muhammad Mehdi in the in the TV show today. And yeah, inshallah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. he Muhammad might Mehdi be deserves. seeing him there tomorrow. Inshallah. Inshallah, he, he deserves more more than this. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. He and his family. Thank you very much, sister. Thank, Thank you, very you very much. much. Assalamualaikum. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome at your service, sister. Muhammad Mehdi, you know. The people they are watching your program yeah. and your recitation attracted all the people, me and the all viewers. And Noor, are you there? Okay. Before we go to Noor, we have some questions from you. And inshallah, uh, of course, the time is flying. Yeah. Muhammad, we want to, we want to be with you more. What is your, um, 
recommendation, advice to the students in your age? My recommendation is to learn the Quran, whether it says Tajweed or recitation, and to attend classes in order to learn the Quran. And that's good. a really good thing. Good. Uh, thank you very much. Noor, are you there? Hello, Noor. Yes. Yeah. Noor, are you there? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Noor. Uh, good. Noor, you mentioned about your plan in future and as well your recommendation to our dear viewers. We were really happy to to have you with us in our live program, The Art of Recitation of the Holy Quran. And we thank your family, your father, your mother, and all those that are supporting you in this uh, way, in the way of Quran and Ahlul Bayt. Um, finally, uh, if you want to have any message to our dear viewers, to our families, to mothers, fathers, so you can go ahead and send your message to them. Do you have any particular message to uh, our dear viewers? To encourage their children how, how to learn the Quran. It, it will protect their, them, especially in the UK. Very good, very good, very good. Thank you very much, Noor. Uh, it was a great pleasure having you with us. I wish you enjoy the rest of your day. And of course, I, I want you and also Muhammad Mehdi in, in both things, not just in Quran and uh, recitation. In Quran, recitation, you studied, you should be top, number one. That is our slogan. Mm -hmm. Not just, of course, if you go through Quran, if you memorize Quran, definitely this book will guide you. Definitely this book will give you the higher level in society, in your careers, and your jobs. Thank you very much, Noor. We say goodbye to you, and inshallah we have... Thank you for having me, say it. You're welcome. Say salam to your family, and inshallah we'll see you next time, maybe, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Muhammad Mehdi. You mentioned the last advice. What is your advice to the, our community, especially to the... You know that the mother called... Because you are now role model. What is your uh, final message to our dear viewers? My final message to our dear viewers is that to attend classes of Quran Institute, which is o which is organized by the Holy Atab al Abbasiyah mm -hmm. in Karbala, Good. in order to learn the Holy Quran, Mashallah. trust yourself. Mashallah. Don't give up. Mashallah. You should always, always get support from the right person. That's how you will achieve your goal. But before that, you should ask Allah and Ahlul Bayt for help and support. Thank Mashallah. You. Very good. You are as well very good lecturer. Ahsantum. So on behalf of the Art of Recitation of the Holy Quran program and Safir TV, uh, we have this gift to you that is uh, a, a memory, I think. Or it's, it will be very good for your Thank gaming you or anything. Uh, thank you very much, Brother thank Muhammad Muzaffar. It was a pleasure having you with us. And inshallah, definitely we might have you in six or uh, seven months later, inshallah. Okay. Thank you very much, dear viewers. Thank you very much. And inshallah, we'll see you next week at 7 p.m. al tamas dua and goodbye.